Alrighty, welcome back to my channel, City Boy Farming. In this video, we're just transplanting my cherry tomato plant and my cucumber plant to my self-made hydroponic system. But first, we're gonna have to get the light hooked up. And what I'm gonna do is attach it to the ceiling and I'm gonna hang it down, but I'm gonna show you what that looks like. First, we gotta put the light together. So it's gonna be in this area, but then we gotta put the light together. Alrighty, now we're getting back into it. This is the whole GBG look light system hookup. It comes with the user manual. Very useful. If you want to learn more about it, I will put it in the description below and you can read more about how to start the light system for your hydroponics and of course seed starting kits for great germination. And it do come with some great cables or you know some nice little wires for it to hold up your lights. Very strong with an adjuster. And it comes with nice styrofoam packaging. It, and you know just to keep it safe because it is a little light. Also it comes with the screws. You get the screws inside to hook up for the light system. It comes with everything you need that I'm about to show you in this kit right here. Like screws, light system, wires, the usual manual, everything. Now I'm about to show you exactly what it looks like when I put it together. And I'm going to be very detailed. Hopefully I am very helpful when it comes to putting this light together. So let's get started. Hi, I bet you're wondering, how did I end up like this? Well, I'm going to tell you how. For me being a little hard-headed, I'm thinking I could do, a, I can hook up this license all by myself. It's easy and all, but at the same time, sometimes the simplest things you can, you need to ask for help. So I was struggling trying to figure out why these screws not sticking in and why can't I, why the light not sticking up to it. Because I realized, one, I'm doing it the wrong way. <laughs> and two... I don't have three hands, so one needs to hold the light, and the other one needs to screw in the screw for the light to stay in place. So I'm over here struggling, like, why can't I do this? So I'm, I, I realized that I got it. So my plan was to get every screw in there at the same time, realizing that it don't stay down. So I'm like, okay, what's next? Oh, yeah, I can ask for help. So I'm over here like, dang, what, why are people thinking I don't like getting this? No. It's just, I'm stubborn, and I should have asked for help, which I did the last minute. But, yeah, now you're about to see where I'm about to head to next. Men, don't be like me. Ask for help. And especially if your wife there, ask for help. I mean, they bug us anyway, so let's bug them. But this is just simple stuff right here. You just simply screw all of these in on each corner, and boom, you have your whole light system hooked up. Now, you can see exactly how... I'm not going to say flimsy, but I want to say it's a little weak, but it's not meant to have things on it. It's just meant to hover over exactly your plants and your plants only. And so now I'm about to hook the rest up and I'm going to show you how the light looks. Now, I should never forget about this part, but you need the washers on there. I don't know why I did not say that at first, but now I am. The washer helps the screws stay in there secure and tight, and so it won't be wobbling all over the place. Now, I'm going to do this for all four corners, and I see that the screw that I'm using has a hole in it, and that's going to be a very important thing because that's where you're going to tie your hooks or your anchor emplacements I, I don't know what you actually call those I want to call them zip line hooks but that's what you use and that's what you are going to use to help hang your wires from the ceiling I feel like they should have this very simple like keep all the machines and light system like this simple way instead of having just only two just using white two wires in the back that's just weird I don't like that but this machine is nice now we have a whole light system, which is nice. I like this. I like the setup, and I like the exact light pattern that they're using. Perfect. 
mm, five out of five stars now you can see the wires that i was explaining for the little hooks this is exactly where you want to put them on the corner at and it's just to help you get a, a better stabilization for this light system it's very easy to hook up you just put each one on the corner and boom you're done again i i recommend that you ask for help sometimes you're just gonna need help and i don't know if this is the moment i need help i'm just like ugh, i'm so over this but my little my big fingers just couldn't handle some of these hooks so but if you need help just always ask don't be stubborn now i like this because it actually automatically comes with a adjustable anchor there where you could just change the height of the light system or put it exactly where you want it and instead of just trying to hook up something that you don't know what you're doing to your ceiling like trying to add parts to the parts that it didn't come with it i'm just going to say that having this whole setup with this light system was amazing and i like it and i feel like these tools that i was using or the items that it came with the light i'm using are very light but very strong at the same time because i was just pulling on this thing and i was like yes this is exactly what i need but then again the light system is very light so it's okay I did have to go to Home Depot and buy my own parts for certain situ situations. I shouldn't say situations. For certain things, like hooking the whole thing up to the ceiling. I just needed a, a good bare hook just to do that. And, yeah. But this is my wife showing you exactly how you just put it in there. It's simple. It's not hard, but it's simple. It may look hard, but it's not. Trust me. By the, by the way, since you're watching this video, hit that like button. You know, be helping out this channel a lot. Also, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. But back to this light. Boom. It's perfect. And I would say you want to adjust some of these things on the corner just so it won't look like it's on the tilt. That tilt might not seem right, but hey, you got a light system. All things not perfect, but if it's perfect and it works for you, it's perfect. I meant to say, if it works for you, it's perfect. Let's go with that. Boom. Alright, for the next part of this video, I simply grabbed this, hey, what is this, I'm just calling this hanging hook, installed into my ceiling that's up here. Then, now I'm going to use the grappling hook, <laughs> don't, don't listen to me, it's not called grappling hook, but I'm going to put it through here so the light can hang. And so I just used a simple drill, and now I'm tugging on it, see how strong it is. Ugh. This lack is in there pretty tight, but I'm going to screw it in a little more. And I'm going to show you what the hookup, the hookup should look like. All right. This is the light. This is how it's going to be set up. And the best part about this, they have this contraction here that you just push in. You can adjust it. And you can adjust the height of it. So that up here, that's why I kept down here. Kept this tangled up so we can catch it right there. And I can just push this down. Just go straight up with it and then catch it. Boom. And when I plug it in, I got one of these off of Amazon. It's like a timer to shut things off and on. And I'm gonna hook it up to the plug right here. And that way, this would be set on for at least eight hours. Because both plants need at least eight hours or more of light. And what I'm about to do next is just hook everything up, set the pump up inside, and yeah, and then I'm about to transplant my plants. But I really say this is a pretty nice hookup right now. All right, this is for the pump. And I don't have like a rock saw for the pump, but this is, this will do. I made this myself with a rubber tube and some hot glue. And you see, I sealed up this end, and then I then I will put this on the end of the pump. And what you want to do next is poke like little holes in here. When you poke little holes in here, you will set the pump on the lowest term, and it will be just like a fish tank aquarium pump, and it will just blow out bubbles through the side. So I'm about to do that real quick, and then you can have a look at what I at what it looked like. All right, there goes the pump. Do not mind this water. This came from an old system, and. You see, it's the holes that I have around it. And what I'm going to do is just push it in just like that. 
I'm gonna see if it blow bubbles. So let's test it out. All right, remember, I put it on the lowest turn. Oh, let's pray. Nothing's happening, but you can tell it's coming out. Let me see if I can readjust it. Okay, so this test, it, it didn't go as planned, but you can use this as a substitute, I'm gonna say, until you get a nice submerged pump that's built for hydroponics instead of trying to make it your own. Cause this is usually help pumps water through tubes. But in the meantime, I'm just making something that'll create like a bubble or something for the, or any type of movement for the roots. Just like we did right here, we need to create an outlet for our plug for the pump. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Boom, got it. That way I get the axis and I'm gonna tilt it over or turn it sideways. This will not be in the way, but it will be plugged in. Boom. Now it's time to fill this bad baby up with water. And hopefully we can transplant these plants today. All right, now we have the net pods. I cut a hole in here because I did not let the rock wool set in with the seed inside. So the seed, if it was like that, I would have kept the bottom on and the seed and the roots would have grown right through. So what I'm gonna do here is just sit it in there. As you can see the water is right there. The same thing for that one. The water is right there, so it's perfect. Now, I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these out and then transplant them in there. That way the roots will be in there, sitting in the water. Let me show you what that look like. Before I actually get the plants in there, I wanna show you exactly how I started my rock wool with the seeds inside. So I just clearly put the seeds inside the rock wool, but I put it inside my I Do Hydroponic System, and you can tell it works perfectly fine, but I did not put peroxide over the rim of the rock wool, which created a little algae buildup, a little buildup, but we got it, we got it under control. Also, I want to show you that my plants was not always this big. I, they start off small, of course, like every single seed that you put on a plant. But it comes to my realization that it's easier to do it that way. So this was before my machine once they actually had cleaned. That's why the bottom are still on the net pods. But at the same time, I'm showing you why I did it that way. Just so it can be an easy start for my plants to germinate and get a better, better start on the way it was. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alrighty, TikTok, it is time for me to do some transplanting. I will do it probably tomorrow. And I was waiting for these little suckers right here, the tendrils of the cucumber plant, so it has something to grab on. As you can see, it's starting to need to be in a bigger place. Um, I did do my hybrid melons, and they did, turned out perfect. My sugar baby watermelon, eh, not so much. My pepper is doing better. But this is my tomato plant. Everything looking looking great. Got some suckers coming in right there. But yeah, it looks nice. Get ready to clean this off. Put it in here. They go right in there, right? There. So the tomato and the cucumber gonna be right in there. Okay. All right. So this is what I was talking about. I took the bottom off so the roots can fall off just like that. And you can tell these roots looking very healthy. No root rot or anything. So I did a great job with this plant. This is my cucumber plant. And I, I was like, it's about time for it to be transplanted because it started growing its tendrils. So I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to find a trellis. I think I kind of found the trellis, but it's not really working the way I want it. So I'm gonna have to look into something else. You can see this tendril right here is already curling up. And that's what, and that's why I feel like it was time to be transplanted into this station right here. Boom. Now it's time to do the tomato plant. Well, there you have it. I have it all nice and hooked up. I might try something with the tendrils. Might take them off and just have it growing up a string, or I just might find a trellis for it. For this one, this is a when I seen you just have the tomato plant growing up the string, and I got it hooked on that base. I hope I'm not. Pitching it too hard, I, I got it inside the groove of the uh, clothesline. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Nice hookup, nice everything. Got the string going all the way up. Hopefully I should be seeing some tomato. 
something soon. <laughs> Can't wait. I've never been excited about tomatoes and cucumbers ever. Well, that's a lie. I'm always growing and I'm excited every single time I grow. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's literally the next day and I got everything hooked up. Everything looks really nice. So I decided I needed it, an air pump. So this is what I was trying to say. Now, submerged pump, this is an air pump. It just blows air. And this at the end of it is called the, I believe the stone, the air stone. So you keep it like that. It helps it sink. I got a bigger one as well. I got a bigger one for the 20 gallon. And I got an air pump made for a 20 gallon as well. Now, let's plug it up and see what it should look like when you blow bubbles, when bubbles are getting blown in there. <sighs> Proper irrigation. Boom. Now that's what it's supposed to look like. You put it in there. It's blowing bubbles. See the side of it look like. That's what it looked like. Now the bubbles help for the root, help the roots. Now let's try the bigger one. And that's the bigger one. Now use the bigger one because it's heavier. So much better. Oh, all right, now everything will be complete. Now, like I said, I have this timer. It's on an hour and it's off an hour. So it's gonna be cutting on and off for an hour. And it's silent, it's not heavy, it's not making the floor vibrate or anything. So that's perfect. All right, I'm not even about to waste my time, so I just put the tube through the hole for that was made for the plug and just dropped the stone in there. And now, let's see. I don't want to get my phone wet. You can see the roots are in there. The reason why they're not on top right now is because I have the top like this. So, let's test it and see what it looks like. There it go. Everything looks nice. Boom. All right, then we're gonna top this off and I'm gonna put on the timer. So you can see it's plugged in the wall and I have it just like that. Now let's see what it looks like on the timer. All right, so it's in there and it's plugged up. It's plugged up back there. And as you can see, it's on the time limit and it's not on. So there you have it. Whew, I'm gonna keep this one just in case, but the big one works really well. So we'll keep this one just in case. Put it up. Yep, that's pretty much it. If you find this video very helpful, please hit that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to get notified when I post more videos, which is at Wednesday at 12:15 p.m. Again, this is City Boy Farming. Peace.